I like to uh, uh, talk about this painting, but um, the painting, or I mean, screen that I'm looking at is like a uh, gold leaf, basically. And um, when I think about a gold leaf, which I used to think, if it's used kind of not really right context, gold leaf can be tacky. So I, I, I would never use gold leaf. I, decide, I had to decide at some point. But uh, since you know, I'm from Japan and I have been looking at a uh, gold leaf uh, uh, screen, and when I was invited to Manisa, I said, oh, that sounds like you know, something very you know, I can relate to because my, my work evolved into uh, gold leaf paintings from some sort of like all detouring, you know, here and there, here and there. I used to do a lot of ukiyo-e uh, painting, which, which means like I understood the space and the color totally flat. And uh, even, you know, I drew uh, figures, all the figures and uh, landscape and props in my narratives are articulated in a flat surface. But then eventually, um, uh, the content that I wanted to express started evolving from uh, my early ukiyo-e style painting. And um, recent uh, work that uh, I have been, I, I'm showing at um, Catherine Clark Gallery is um, basically it's about uh, Catholic priest uh, sex abuse. So a lot of uh, um, titles uh, like uh, the Cloisters series and Confessional series and uh, most current uh, series called the Last Supper series. So when I was doing this, Melissa said, would you be interested in you know, coming to the museum and, and then take a look at you know, a gold screen, gold leaf screen, uh, exhibition. So I see. I'm more than on, you know feel honored and happy to do this. So here I am. Uh, this screen, uh, these screens, uh, really is sort of like the way I would paint uh, this narrative, and I think the artist did it very well. <laughs> anyway, actually, actually, you know, this screen, this screen. I mean. Uh, I love the color, uh, the rich color which the artist created, and then the um, uh, narrative that you can sort of guess what's going on here with, uh, uh, I thought it's a Dutch people, but it turned out to be uh, Portuguese people. And um, I have done a uh, black ship motif, uh, ukiyo-e style uh, painting, uh, previously, and these this type of uh, boat was fa fascinating. So, you know, when I had seen um, some screens like that, it sort of stays in my mind for a long, long time. And eventually, it's just one day, it just you know started coming out. Yeah, yeah. and <clears throat> I I love the way uh, the clouds comes in, and perhaps this artist said. I don't know what to fill in. I'm, I'm going to use the clouds to fill in the gap. That's a good way out. But you know, I mean, I, I don't think the artist did that. But uh, you, uh, I, I felt like the clouds that is uh, almost like um, um, uh, randomly comes into this uh, landscape is not really randomly done. It's just, you know, artists figure out that somehow a uh, cloud has to come in to make the rest of the painting make sense. And um, when I uh, was uh, visiting it Italy, and there are a lot of uh, Italian painting that has um, uh, uh, old world, uh, or corroded uh, surface of the painting, but somehow Italians 
uh, people or Italian archive people don't seem to uh, be concerned, but leave the corroded area like abstract painting, like you know that this kind of shape of uh, clouds or its corroded surface with the rest of the painting. Now I thought it's really fascinating to me that like here's a nice beautiful narrative painting, and then suddenly you know something sort of like a erosion kind of eroded a surface, but it's painted sort of like a white or, you know, sort of beige. Hmm, that's interesting. They don't intake, you mean, when, if, if there's a damage or... Damage, yeah. Dam that that damaged part is painted uh, totally flat. Yeah. So I felt like that's, you know, pretty close to this type of painting, which used the clouds a lot. So it actually becomes a decorative element almost. Yeah, it's really interesting because, you know, you have to think in terms of, uh, um, you know, perspective, uh, real, realistic sort of terms of uh, vision. And then suddenly, you know, this corroded area just comes in without any, you know, hesitation. I said, wow, that's quite, that's beauty. <laughs> anyway, so that, that's a sort of beauty I, I discover in this painting too. Yeah. One of the compositions that I had uh, it's called, I think, New Views of Mount Fu Fuji or uh, Wiki Wiki Tour. I, oh, Hawaii Snorkel Series and the slash Wiki Wiki Tour, which uh, shows uh, Japanese tourists uh, in Hawaii as a geisha and samurai. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretending like I'm a, a, a photographer as a samurai, you know, pretending like a photographer the four by five big camera. And um, so that water uh, d I depicted, it's not like this, but the overall sort of concept is like narrative like this. And uh, so I think one of the reasons I, I am drawn to this painting is that, that narrativeness is so well done and also compositionally it works really well. Um, but. I'm, I'm sure, you know, all of you had a different uh, critical eyes that, you know, well, this could be, this, these guys could be over here, but this guy could be over there, you know. <laughs> then once you start moving people here and there, the whole painting has to be adjusted. It's really tough. Yeah. And, and then um, um, the triptychs that I'm uh, exhibiting at the Katie's, Catherine Clark Galleries right now. I mean, I had to really deal with uh, composition. It's totally overwhelming. You know, I said, oh, I can finish this painting. <laughs> and no, it just keeps on going. You know. So the more I, I got involved in uh, each composition, and the, the, the more I found Wow, you know, I thought this part of the composition is done long time ago, but when I looked overall view, okay, here's a spot, boring spot. And <laughs> boring spot, when you have boring spot, that's the time that artist has to c come up with a really strong concept, you know, visually. And it's overwhelming. I mean, because you're, you know, the rest of the whole composition is pretty much done, but only this, this part is not done. And I said, wow. Mm. <laughs> it's just, oh, yeah. so, you know, I try all kinds of stuff, right? And Eve came up and said, Daddy, this, this hand is not working. I said, I think you're right. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. I mean, she, she spotted it. Uh, in the painting. Yeah, in the painting. It's it <laughs> no, it's not even connected, you know. Arms are like this. And then, Daddy, that's, wh where does it go? Said, oh, I don't know where. <laughs> so, you know, if she, uh, since she, she, she's so observant, I mean, I appreciate it. I have a great, great credit. My wife, Linda, is an artist. And if I didn't have 
I was not married with her, probably my painting won't be that strong, you know. <laughs> so I give lots of credit to my wife and my daughter, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to have them around because, you know, sometimes, I mean, I even painted this triptych for two years, and I, it's just last moment, last one month or something, I said, this priest's hands are totally opposite direction. <laughs> 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 I couldn't believe it. I said, wow, that's ridiculous, you know. How come I didn't catch this, you know, for two years? I mean, I mean so that means like, you know, sometimes I get so absorbed into, you know, absorbed and then I, get, I guess I'm not, you know, able to look at my painting critically. So, um, and at the last moment, Linda, you have to look at my painting, you know. Let me know what's going on. I said, Masami, this, is, this head should be, right? <laughs> so, so, anyway, I mean, I think compositionally, this is fantastic, so, yeah. Um, I don't have uh, actual uh, uh, watercolor screen that I had uh, created. That was, um, uh, it's called New Views of Mount Fuji slash uh, uh, Samurai Jagger. But anyway, this image that I, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have it here, but uh, it has a bridge and then cherry blossom and the trees, and then samurai uh, is uh, uh, wearing, uh, trying to wear Nike shoes. And then geisha girls is in Ofuro uh, bathroom, uh, bathtub here. So anyway, I think this screen is like uh, one of the typical Japanese gold leaf screens that I must have seen way back some time ago. And in some way, it affected or inspired my um, you know, work. Um, and um, I, I think that decorativeness of this, this um, uh, Japanese conventional painting is that it's interesting because Japanese uh, aesthetics is always sort of like accept decorative part of uh, aesthetic, unlike the uh, uh, Western aesthetics, I think, and um, you know, so that decorativeness can go beyond what decorative uh, uh, vocabulary is, and if you if you put in the right context, decorativeness can be inspiring. So I feel like this you know, uh, screen has that particular. Uh, strength that you know I admire, and uh, also perhaps you know these are the sort of a screen that I had seen a long time ago, and eventually you know it it came into my mind or my uh, paintings. Yeah. As far as the way I see, is like uh, nothingness is what what's working here, and I I feel really really. Uh, uh, um, uh, piece in, in, in this composition. And, um, you know, sometimes when I, when I hear uh, musicians or something like, you know, uh, if, you, if you think Miles Davis, if you think Miles Davis, uh, one note, he, he elongates uh, one note. But in the context of his composition, this one note, you know, long sort of like a long space makes sense. And then that's what I can see this too. You know, it really, I mean, it's just, okay, space, 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 but then here's a uh, musical note here, but then he can, I mean, it, the artist can sort of keep on going without saying anything, but it really means something. And um, uh, I often uh, relate my uh, props and composition, musical term, 
and I, I'm always sort of by, uh, writing my own music when I'm painting. So I, don't, I hardly sort of listen to any music. And Linda doesn't listen to music either. So, you know, we, we are really quiet artists. <laughs> 